Hi folks, this is Ron Smith coming to you live again today talking about how to live a drug-free life. I'm excited because of the time that I have in recovery that has moved me forward in a lifestyle of change. And again, congratulations for showing up to your recovery. If you're overcoming addiction right now, this program's for you. Or And thank you for those that are listening who are helping someone overcome drug addiction. This program hopefully will help you understand the addict's mindset and perhaps how to be of support to that person that's overcoming drug addiction. And I'm here to talk to you today about how to live in the new recovery territory and then how to do that too by learning how to function with the hammer and the hug. So the hammer is the cold hard truth and the hug is supporting someone with verbal uh, statements. But there's a scripture that talks about in the first Chir Chronicles 4.10 where it says, Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Isn't that wonderful to know that our request to live a drug-free life, to live in our new territory of recovery could be granted, that we can live a life pleasing to that's, God and a life that's pleasing to our family, to ourselves, and how we maneuver in life is very important. Matter of fact, Verteva Health, formerly known as Addiction Campuses, wrote an article called, It's a Whole New World Out There, Recovering from Addiction, saying beyond the prison doors of addiction lies green grass, trees, bird song, healthy relationships, endless possibilities, self-love, hope, peace of mind, and serenity. Not only does your physical health improve, but so does your whole outlook on life. Wow. I know in order for me to live 15 plus years in recovery, I had to change my whole outlook on life and explore the vast territory of recovery that was there all along. Here's the thing about when you make that decision. You have all this territory that's in front of you. And a lot of a high percentage of individuals don't recognize the territory that's on the, the, the positive decision side. Mm -hmm. You haven't even explored all the territory that's yours. It's, it's, you can't even see. It's almost like a sea of, can't see the end. Mm -hmm. like, you know, when you look over the sea, you can't even see the end. That's how the choice to stay clean and sober is. When you decide to cl stay clean and sober, guess what? You have all this vast territory now to explore. Mm -hmm. But yet, we look in front of us. We look at only what we see. Right. And Always look down. I didn't look up. I didn't have the faith to see beyond where I was at. But in order to live in recovery, you'll have to explore this vast new territory of positive choices. Your positive choice is going to lead you into a new relationship with those that are living it, having it, doing it, thriving in the same thing that you desire to have. Exploring your new territory is going to bring you into new relationship or even uh, reunify with old relationships. Exploring your new territory really takes you uh, at a whole nother level of living a drug-free life.
of the things we have to learn how to do is take the hammer with the hug. And I'm glad you mentioned that she was kind of <coughs> on you to make sure you was doing okay. Mm -hmm. And I can see that that kind of irritated you, but you allowed that. Right. You know what I call that? I call it the hammer right. with the hug. Tip here. Hammer with hug. Hmm. Now, here's the hammer. The hammer is, you need to get your life together. Mm -hmm. Something's going on, and I recognize that you're different. You know, are you using drugs? I, I, I think maybe you need to get some help. Mm -hmm. See, that type of language. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, yeah, I just want to make sure everything's okay with you. Yeah. Uh, or, you've been drinking, huh? Mm -hmm. See, that type of stuff. If right. you don't stop, I'm leaving. Right. You might hear that. Yeah. But now, the hammer is the truth. Mm -hmm. It's the cold, hard truth. Heal. It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. That that's what's really going on. Right. You know, they're not... See, here's how you determine if they're trying to hurt you or trying to help you. See, because when they do the hammer, they're doing it out of a heart uh, to help. Here's how you ask this question. Are they really getting at me because they have a heart to help or a heart to hurt? Either a heart to help or a heart to hurt. Right. Now, I doubt if your wife was doing that with a heart to hurt. Right? No. So that's what we get irritated. I'm okay. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> See that? <coughs> See, that's not accepting the hammer. Mm -hmm. See, the hammer is a is this, you know, accountability piece right. that when you're in recovery, you don't like. Right. You don't like that piece. But this is the part of the skill. Mm -hmm. This is the part of the recovery uh, process uh -huh. to accept people following up on you because they want to they want some time to go by they want based on time and recovery see right. and that goes away after a while because eventually your behavior will now be different and it wouldn't require such a hard hammer right but in the beginning it is because the next the very next day or when after your conversation you guys may hug and cry mm -hmm. together you know thank you so much for helping me see the, that's the hug but too many people in recovery is always trying to get the hug Oh, it's going to be okay. You know, uh, things are going to be all right. right. You know, life will get better. No, it, things aren't going to get all right if you keep drinking. Mm -hmm. Things are not going to be okay. But yet the drinker, all they want to hear is the good things that they're doing. Right. Rather than accepting both. Right. The hammer with the hug. Right. Yeah. I fully really relate to that. <laughs> yeah. Take the hammer with the hug. Yeah. Being able to absorb the truth that when someone recognizes something in us, instead of getting upset, angry, bent out of shape, I just learn to accept whatever it is that they're saying as the hammer because they're doing it with the heart to help and not with the heart to hurt. So now that I understand that hammer, I no longer have to say, I don't need to hear that anymore. Or... Uh, get out of my face or stop talking to me. I don't want to hear that right now. Now I can take it in knowing that they have a heart to help and accept what they're saying and then give that hug afterward. I don't always have to hear all the good things because I've ignored. My mom had to tell me the cold hard truth. My wife had to tell me the cold hard truth. And once I learned how to accept the truth, then the hug was even that much more grateful. So the skill today is to learn to take the hammer with the hug and to live in your unexplored territory of recovery for life. Because there's so much to explore. I still, 15 years later, am still in the exploration stage, even as I make this video right now as an exploration stage. I'm actually leading by example by stepping out and doing something totally different. I, 
wasn't into doing YouTube videos and didn't think I was qualified or had the right language, but I'm, I'm trying and thank you for your support, but I'm uh, putting forth an effort in this new territory of change, which is in the recovery process. So I want you to like this page. I want you to share this page. I want you to uh, subscribe, maybe write some comments on the bottom. And until next time, continue to explore your territory and be able to take the hammer with the hug. And so that'll help you get your life together and keep it together all the days of your life. And remember, recovery is like living in a whole new world.